We're here today for the dedication of the Kenny Gordon plaque. Here at Cornell, uh, we have been uh, um, the beneficiaries of a lot of important people who have donated to our programs, but this was a little bit different because a couple of years ago, a group of women came into my office who really had no direct connection with anybody within our faculty. Um, what happened is that there was a tragedy that, that occurred and that Kenny Gordon who was a 26-year-old uh, fellow who died suddenly of a cardiac arrhythmia in an untimely manner. And Vivian Gordon and her friends and family wanted to somehow make or find meaning out of what happened and to help others so that that would not occur or at least that other people in a similar situation could be helped. So we didn't, take, uh, we didn't take care of Kenny Gordon. I never met Kenny Gordon. But these people were, were dedicated to an idea and, to, and had a vision and really wanted to do good for other people and to find meaning in, in a tragedy that occurred. And I was, I, I was really quite taken with that. And I was uh, quite taken with the, I think the sincerity and, and dedication of all the people that were involved um, in this foundation. So we wanted to have something that was going to be meaningful and something that was going to be productive that was going to come out of this. And so Dave Christini was working on something that we think is very important. It's not going to prevent sudden death, but for people that have survived sudden death, it's a way to detect abnormalities that will occur before, sh uh, before a life-threatening arrhythmia may occur, and to develop certain kinds of ways to treat that rhythm before it results in a life-threatening event. The fancy term for it is control of repolarization alternates, but that's irrelevant. But Dave has done magnificent work in that regard, uh, was awarded a patent this year on this, on this work, and is really a, uh, a leader in this particular area. And we're hopeful in the next couple of years that this is going to be real, implemented, that this will help young people like your son and others too. So we're very uh, appreciative of the Kenny Gordon Foundation, all the people that make up the Kenny Gordon Foundation. And basically today represents just a, a way that we can say thank you to the foundation, to Vivian, and to the group. Uh, for all the work, dedication, and effort that you've put forward. And uh, just thank you very much. Hi, everybody. I'm Roberta Breitbart, and I'm a member of the Kenny Gordon Foundation. I'm going to pass a picture around of my friend, Kenny Gordon, because I'd love you all to see his face. So we'll just start it here. I'd like to tell you that Kenny is, is, I, is the word I'm using, which is to us, Kenny is the beloved son of Vivian and Sonny, the brother of John, and a very, very special friend of everybody who's standing here. None of you know him the way Bruce didn't know him and David didn't know him. Kenny was so full of life. Kenny was charismatic. Kenny's friends have always said, Vivian has told me, that he was the glue that held them all together. And unfortunately, we lost Kenny, as Bruce said, at age 26 from a sudden death arrhythmia. A year later, we were all still crying, but what could we do to make a difference? And that was the birth of the Kenny Gordon Foundation. And we are proud of ourselves because in the beginning years and still, we have supported Kenny's alma mater, Skidmore College, which Vivian wanted me to tell you all about. We have funded three full four-year scholarships there because Kenny loved it so. Kenny was a counselor at Maury's camp. So we now have Kenny's kids at Maury's camp and we're thri thrilled to be doing that. We're even hopeful that possibly going forward, some of the students and campers at Maury's camp may be recipients of 
the scholarship at Skidmore, which would be a wonderful thing. And now we felt we wanted to do something in the area of cardiology and sudden death arrhythmia. And so lucky for us, we met you, who I really have grown to call a friend and who I really love. Bruce opened his office and opened his heart. I said, Bruce, at that time it was Dr. Lerman, of course, what can we do to have a special place here at your hospital so that Vivian can come and we can touch something to remember Kenny? I said, Bruce, I don't think you understand what it means to touch something. He said, Roberta, I do. I have two children at Ramaz. I understand. And he said, as a friend, whatever you can do will be appreciated and I will make it happen. And we all thought that was so unbelievable. There wasn't a condition, there wasn't a price tag, there weren't requirements. It was just his heart touching our heart. And we love you and we're grateful. We're here today because of Bruce Lerman. We are so grateful to him. It is with great happiness that I am now handing Bruce our third donation and we're very, very proud to give you $150,000 today so that Dr. David Cristini, who we also love, can continue his important work and we can feel that we're really making a difference and Kenny's glue is holding all of us together still. So we thank all of you for working hard. We thank you and mostly I thank you. I would just like to uh, quickly echo Dr. Lerman's comments. First of all, just to like to thank the Gordon and the Kenny Gordon Foundation for the generous support of Cornell and our Arrhythmia research. And second, um, although I'm always mindful of the fact that it was a, a real tragedy that introduced us to each other, it has been a real pleasure for me getting to know you over the last few years. And I could tell by um, family, friends, the members of the foundation, that uh, Kenny really was blessed. And hearing your words and seeing um, video tribute that, that I saw at one event, I, I know that Kenny really was a wonderful person as well. And, and finally, I just want to um, uh, assure you that, that while we, can't, we can never make guarantees in science about our results, we can guarantee that we are, we are working very hard to try to um, advance the science in a way that will um, help to prevent future tragedies like that which occurred to your family. Thank Thanks you again. So, thank you. <laughs> Let me just, 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 just what, make one last quick comment that uh, Dr. Lerman uh, very kindly acknowledged me and it advances um, attributed to me, but really uh, a lot of that credit needs to go to people who work in my group and not just to me. So mm -hmm. I'll introduce you all we to them after, them. but there's five members sitting over here who are very dedicated to this work and um, uh, who I'd really like you to be and really deserve the lion's share of the, the credit. I hope that you like it and it will be here for as long as this laboratory is here and hopefully it will be long beyond that. <laughs>